Facebook, I wanted to do a quick video because we have had person after person after person coming in with these tight shoulders. And what I've decided is this boils down to one big thing, which is awareness. So if you're not aware that you're walking around with your shoulders up here, not breathing, and your head out here, and you're texting, and you're hanging out like that all the time, you're going to end up having really tight shoulders that feel like they can never relax. And that's why so many of us have this, because we're not aware. So three quick tips. One, Breathe more deeply. Uh, I know, Dr. Sarah, you've told me this a million times, but what you don't know is I'm not talking about that yoga belly breathing. I'm talking about not being afraid to breathe into the top of your lungs. So when you take a deep breath, you wanna start it from down here and breathe so deeply that these muscles tense up, fill the top of your lungs, hold it for a few seconds, and let it go out through the mouth. You can even shrug your shoulders up Take those big, deep breaths all the way up. Count to four or five. Hold for four or five. <sighs> Exhale quickly out the mouth. Step two. Don't have your neck out here. So awareness. Check in with yourself. This is called text neck, stress neck, nursing neck for moms. Take your head. Shift it back. Try to be aware of that. I like to do this one when I'm in my car stopped at a stoplight. Someone's next to me, I pull up right behind them so I don't look really silly, and it's the opposite of the chicken dance. You gotta pull your head back and in. It's like you're giving yourself a double chin. Very attractive. That's gonna help not stress these back muscles as much. Third one, shoulder rolls. Move your shoulders more. So many people, I ask them to move their shoulders and they go like this. And I'm like, it's not swimmy swimming class. It's move your shoulders. So you gotta move from your scapulas forward, up, back, and down. And then reverse it. Back, up, forward, and down. Move those shoulders, move those shoulder blades. And notice how my elbows aren't doing anything. And bonus, because I always like to over deliver and give you more than I promised you. Tip number four, head rolls. So there's a difference between um, head rolling and then using your full range of motion of your neck and upper back to really get into those muscles and relax everything. So folding your chin in towards your chest, rolling it around, nose to the front, ear to your shoulder, nose to the ceiling, looking all the way up and around, ear to shoulder again to the other side, and then you can reverse it. So those are some quick tips to help with those shoulder and neck pain issues. We are Inspired Chiropractic and Wellness, and we happen to be really good at loosening up people's shoulders. I know, because everyone leaves feeling happy, relaxed, and saying, thank you. I didn't think anyone could help that. So if you want to feel that way, feel free to give us a call. We're here for you. But try those four tips first, because it's the first thing I'm going to ask you is, did you watch my video? Did you give it a try? All right, guys, have a good one.